Use that one more. Ancient magic refill, right? Do I have that? damage taken from goblins. You know, some defense wouldn't be bad. the Valley Cadaver. You know, we can do that. Map chamber. What are you meowing at me for, cat? I'll fight you. Fight you. I'll fight you. Uh huh. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. Yep. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, Cutscene. you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Uh. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal. But we can wait no longer. I will defer we'll to that Professor little segment to myself. I don't know that how it's going to change it. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave memory. circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. Okay. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Wait till, mate. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we still have some main stuff to go. 
one of the reasons why I do want to try and beat the main story today is because I have to go back to do stuff tomorrow and I don't want people to spoil it for me. <laughs> so. Mm -mm. Hello, I'm back. Keep forgetting to turn that back on again. What are you up to now? Guess we can't use that from here. Uh, okay. Um. Come from there then. Oh, I'm, uh, what's it called? I, I, I go to uni for applied computer sciences. Yeah, yeah. Potato! Now you're just getting on my nerves. Nothing overly interesting, to be honest. I get triggered by mouth noises, so I always get a little bit triggered when my cat starts to clean herself next to me. Is that looking? Ugh, I can't. My entire, fam my entire family has that issue, well, except for my dad's side. Grab the flu thing here. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. The whole game's dangerous. What are you talking about? Face made of stone and tendrils. See what beasts are over here. There's something over here. Oh, it's just uh, the Jabba Knolls, whatever they're called. Off on another adventure. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. You sure about that? Of course. The bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the keepers for information. Right. Rebellion. Confringo. Is that a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Oh, yeah? The hell is that? Do you recognize the head sculpted there? Uh... No? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. A grap -horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. The fancy I name? suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. All right. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. Gotcha. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Yeah, wouldn't want to strain you. I 
That was kind of fun. Raphorn is the only creature I don't have. If I disappear for a second, it'll be because my food arrives, whenever that may be. You'll probably hear the doorbell since it's up obnoxiously loud. God, I hate that thing. I know what that means. Merlin trial. No! No! Mm-mm-mm. Might as well do this as we're here. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Hmm. Something like that. There you go. Wolf. How big is this grapple thing? You know, asking for a friend. This must be the place. I hope it's not big enough to kill that. Extreme danger. Friend? Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Oh, we should have stayed invisible. Oh! Right. Are you in here? No, no grab on. Cool. Are you there? Okay, that told me nothing since it's not an enemy. Cool. Let me also. Expelliarmus. Good freedom. Can't we just stop this? 
right, mate. I just want to be friends. Don't want to fight you. Find some sort of weird Cthulhu monster. Great, you got stronger. Descender. Okay. If it's anything like a griffin, show respect. I need your help, friend. Silver away. Hmm. Okay. Slow down now. There we go. He's fast as fuck. Didn't anyone ever teach you not to take things that don't belong to you? Get out of here! <laughs> that scream. Hilarious. It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. I should investigate. We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. Trying to jump up on the different little platforms. Alright, can you open up this door for me? Some cool bit of magic. So, do I bring my friend or just let him, you know, do his thing? I don't think he's gonna fit in my bag. Oh, I guess he will fit in my bag.
Okay. Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. All right, do I need to fight a boss down here as well? Probably do, don't I? Oh no, it's just straight into the pensive. Okay. Easiest trial of them all, to be honest with you. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? What is he holding behind his back? Oh. Mr. Morganak, I... Son, I'm glad you're here. Is it daughter was not at her home? I know. Her father. First of all, what is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Turn to your common room, all right? What have you done? She's fully lost it. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! She's alive.
well. Bam. Sorry, I'm stuffing my face a little bit with some uh, fries. <laughs> mm -mm. You straight up used the killing curse. But then again, I'm pretty sure that was before it was outlawed. Hmm. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above oh. our pensives. Okay. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. Hmm. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Okay. Grappling with Graphorns, nice. I think... I'm gonna call it here momentarily, for like, maybe like half an hour, something like that. Eat my food, get something to drink, all that stuff, and then we'll come, come back and play some more. And try and uh, finish it as it were. Hmm. I think that's uh, the call I'm gonna do. So, thank you for watching. I will be back. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Boop, boop. We'll be back in a bit. And until then, uh, I'll see you guys later.